People who support keeping the monument and those who want it taken down have announced plans to gather at that statue on 17th Street. Knoxville City officials and the Knoxville Police Department are already planning for the protest. Streets will be shut down and people will not be able to bring weapons into that protest zone. WBIR 10 News reporter Mark Salinger is at the Confederate Monument and spoke with city officials about their plans to make sure that this protest stays peaceful. And Mark, the county mayor also speaking out. Yeah, Robin, we don't know exactly how many people are planning to be at the protest this Saturday, but Knox County Mayor Tim Burchett did have some pretty strong words for anyone planning on coming. He says anyone with political, anybody with uh, discriminating or violent ideologies is not welcome in Knoxville. Anytime a group says that another group doesn't deserve the same rights as they have, uh, to me, that's, um, I don't feel very welcoming towards those kind of people. The events are planned inside the city, and the city has jurisdiction over what happens. Mayor Madeline Rajera was out of town today and unavailable for comment. In the wake of the violence at a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, city officials are taking precautions to ensure planned protests this weekend don't get out of hand. 17th Street will be closed to vehicle traffic starting at 6 a.m. on Saturday in anticipation of protests planned for that afternoon. Knoxville police will not allow guns, weapons, or masks inside the demonstration area near the Confederate soldier memorial. I really don't care what group it is that's out there. I just don't want a bunch of folks agitating or inciting violence in our community. Plans for a protest to defend the Knoxville Confederate Monument show a couple dozen people attending on social media. Posts on white supremacist websites link the protest to a group called Confederate 28. The event organizers say they plan to line the streets with Confederate flags to preserve Confederate heritage. A social media page for a planned counter protest against white supremacy shows nearly 500 people attending the rally. For Mayor Burchett, the fight against white supremacy and neo-Nazis is personal. I walk every morning by a 48-star flag that's on the wall. That was on my uncle's casket, and he was killed by the Nazis in the Second World War. My dad fought the Japanese. I mean, he fought. And since we shot this story today, earlier today, somebody has come by and written the word racist with Sharpie on the monument. City officials are preparing for anything that may happen, but they don't expect too many people to be here. Robin, back to you. Mark Salinger live in Fort Sanders. Mark, thank you very much. And there are three different events planned to encourage kindness and inclusion on Saturday at the same time. There is a safe space at the Tyson House Student Foundation, a kindness rally in downtown Knoxville, as well as a counter protest. You can find information about all three online at WBIR.com.